name is Tamel Green. I am the digital midwife, helping busy mompreneurs to birth their businesses digitally through social media marketing, web design, and other creative PR content. So tonight I wanted to jump on really quickly to give you this five-minute tutorial on how to save, if you're saving your Facebook posts, to collections. You know, sometimes we save things on Facebook, but we forget where they are or we forget what we save. So it's always a good idea to file your saves. So tonight I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So just hang tight. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is how to actually save a post. It's very, very simple. All you do is go to whatever the post is you would like to save whether it's your post or someone else's post, and you're going to see three dots. And this is on your mobile device as well as on the desktop version. All right. And once you click on that, you're going to get a couple of things. This is hide ad, report ad. This is an ad, by the way, because you see it says sponsored. If it's not an ad, you're not going to see the hide ad, report ad. Then you can actually save the video, okay? Now, whether this is a post with a graphic or a video, it's going to say either save video or save post. I'm going to click on save video. Now, once I click on that, if you notice right up here, it says 40 unopened saves this week. Wow, I've saved a lot of stuff. And then it says add to a collection. So I'm going to click on add to a collection. And I want to add this post. I'm just going to say workouts just for now just because it's the first thing that I saw. But if I wanted to, I could have, you know, searched for the ones that I have to put to actually file it somewhere, or I could actually create a, um, a collection. So let me show you that. I'm gonna show you how to create an, a collection. So let's go here, go to another one. Let's go here to this one. And you see it says save video. So I'm gonna click on save video. And I'm going to add to a collection, but this time I'm going to create one. So if I go all the way down here to the bottom, it says create collection. I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to name it something. All right. And once I click on it, it says you've created a new collection. Your saved item has been added to your collection. Something. Okay. So that's how you create a collection. That's how you save a post slash video to a collection. So think about, so maybe you're thinking, well, I already saved my things, but I have not organized them in, in, a, in any kind of way. So now what you want to do is go over here to, this have, has to happen on your um, desktop version, okay? This is not the way to do it on your laptop, I mean on your mobile device. So what you do is go over to the left-hand side and you go to your saved um menu right here click on saved and then it's going to take you to your collections and to the ones that you have not saved so you see over here you see it's a whole new window right so now it tells you see the one i just created the collection i just created called something it has one item in it then there's my workouts recipes okay so now you have a couple of things you have Save items 99 plus it tells you how many items you saved. Then you can actually search in the items. Like it say you don't remember where you found it, you know, in which collection you found it, but you know like the name of it or what it's about. You can actually search for it here in this section. And then you can see you can look at all of your different saves here, the ones you've already saved. Okay, so what if you have already saved posts? And then now you want to make sure that they're saved to a collection. So just look at this one right here. It's a save post. It's not in any collections. And the reason you know it's not in any collections because you see here, this one says video saved to workouts. And this one says video incredible recipes. So it's not saved anywhere. So I'm going to actually add it to my recipes. And see, I'm just going to go here, find the, the collection that I want to add it to, and just click there. And now it says save to recipes. So it's very simple to actually create, a, to save a post and then create your collections right then and there. Or if you save the post and then you want to go back and actually, you know, add it to a collection. And, and then again, here you have the share option, add it to a collection, and then you can unsave it 
or remove it from where you've saved it. Say if you saved it to the wrong folder, wrong collection, then this is a good way to do that. To actually, you know, change it out and then add it to a new collection. So I hope that you have enjoyed this too. quick tutorial on how to add to collections. This is a very, very good tool to use just to organize your life on social media. Um, a lot of people are not, you know, all into a lot of things on social media, but I, for one, I teach social media. So actually saving um, things in real time that people are actually doing when I can show that people are doing these things, this is a good, good way for me to utilize save posts for my training. So you have to decide for yourself, you know, what is a good way for you to utilize those, even if it's just, you know, saving recipes for the busy mom who wants to liven up her um, palate for the her family meals and stuff. Or if you want to save workouts or just anything, this is a great way to do that. All right. Thank you for joining.